Alright, hey guys, and welcome to Lego The Lord of the Rings. I'm the Clean LP Guy, and in this episode, I just wanted to say, I don't think you expected me to come back this soon, did you? I don't know, maybe you guys did. Anyways, um, basically what this is, is this is on a different file, completely different file. Um, I'll show you what I have, sorry, I'll show you what I have right now. I have 180 mini kits, uh, 96 uh, mithril bricks in stock, and I'm going to try and put them all in uh, before your uh, very eyes. Um, I'm, I've got 30 parcels, 18, hundred uh, percent and 17 of 20, um, red bricks. And we're going to go around and we're going to try and get those 17. Now, I believe these are the same three, if not, the f uh, it's, well, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. And I can tell you what, I, I think I can tell you what the prices are at some point. I'm going to go to Bree really fast here and we're going to, um, get uh the uh stuff that we need to finish up on this file and then i'll finally show you the last uh sword that we didn't do which i believe was what the fi firework sword so i will do everything but the firework sword off screen and then i will um come back and do the firework firework sword so let's continue um if you see i have a ton of studs in the top and i'm not using it quite yet for those uh red bricks because i want you guys to see them so i'll kind of just dash around a little bit to different areas just showing you guys different places um and then i also discovered something that i want to show off um with firework swords there so i can't do that one okay so um i'm going to try and do all of them but that one uh first and then I'll show you that one. So, cut, cutting ahead. See you guys in just a second. Alright guys, so this is going to be very exciting for me. Because this is the first time that I have been able to blacksmith everything. And I mean it, for the first time. Last time, I was one brick shy because of stupid glitches. And this time, I am able to blacksmith everything. This is going to be awesome. I don't care what anybody else says. Um, so, I have gone over this game again and um because of course i had to do a whole new file i had a lot of it already done but um yeah i had to go pretty much do all the free play go roaming around everywhere oh my goodness it's been a long night um <laughs> anyways so um basically what's going on right now is uh well what i'm thinking about with about this game is that it's like there are still quite a few glitches even when i went back and quite a few different glitches, really, I'd have to say. It's, it's... And we get the blacksmith for blacksmithing everything. Yeah, he's one of the secret characters. So that's uh, one of our characters. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to swap, and I'm going to show you what the blacksmith looks like. So this is what he looks like. You get a hammer, and he's got his awesome beard sticking out or whatever you want to... I don't know how you want to... He's got his hammer... And yeah, he's all boss. Um, he is a dwarf, so I guess he probably would fit through uh, dwarf doors. Um, I think he could probably do like a... Here, let's actually check outside. Let's check out if he can do that um, one thing. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to um, uh, go to... Ooh, what is it? We're going to go to a couple different areas and get the other um, uh, stud times multipliers. Stud multipliers, that's what it is. It's not stud times, it's stud multipliers. Ooh, the blacksmith sounds very angry. Anyways, so um, we're going to be going to get that, and then hopefully we will be finished, finito, and um, we will be able to see... Yes, he is a massive, awesome dwarf man person thing. And so that makes him very skilled. Anyways, so um, we're just going to go around, and uh, I'm going to warp there in just one second. I wanted to get that purple coin. Anyways, now we're going to warp to um, actually Rohan first because it's got stud times four. Edoras, excuse me. It's not Rohan, it's Edoras. We're going to warp to Edoras and then we're going to run to Helm's Deep because I think we might be able to get some studs on the way. I'll just meet you guys at Helm's Deep, but I'm going to run there. I love the music for Edoras. It's so wonderful. Um, here's the other thing is that I've been reading the Lord of the Rings books and the first movie itself followed the first book relatively close not entirely but relatively close but then the second book seems like it's really off i mean not like 
Mega Ultra, you can't even tell that they're the same thing. But, like, for me, significant parts seem to be very off. And you're like, wow, that's kind of crazy. At least for me, it is. Anyways, um, this is stud. Oh, sorry, studs times six. My bad. It, it um, kind of tripped me up that it was, um, you know, the stud times six with the four. Uh, anyways, anyway, so I'm gonna run to Edoras, or excuse me, to Helm's Deep, which is over. Ooh, it's got to be over this way, I think. It's over that way. I think it's in the distance behind Edoras. Anyways, I will see you guys there in just a moment. All right, and then if you remember coming up this hill at Helm's Deep. Um, Helm's Deep is just to the right of us, and then just coming up this hill, I'm gonna talk to my dwarf brother. Oh, guess not. I don't need to. I already got the. Ooh, they are tricky, tricky, tricky. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that horse race thing, and I'll be right back. All right, coming back up the hill. My bad. Sorry, guys. I didn't realize it was 8,000, not 6,000. So, there we go. After doing the horse thing, we get the 8,000 studs, and wow, he actually falls quite a bit. Ah, uh, he's like sliding on his bum. That's awesome. All right, so now we have the 8,000. We have the, um, uh, all the other ones. I'm just going to say that. I'm going to, um, equip this, and then we're going to run to Mordor, actually, which is where we need to go. And I'm going to see what I can do, uh, there. I'll probably do the goat race before I see you guys, because I want to get some money again. Um, trying to get some studs really quickly. So, probably trying to run into anything that I can on my way. Um, might do the horse race over by Gondor. Because I might feel like it. But anyways, just telling you guys what I might do. How you might want to get your money, I guess. I don't know. If you want to try and get it quickly. Depends. Um, how can my little stud thing... Anyways, I will just meet you guys there. How's that sound? I can see your arrow. Yeah, okay, I, I thought I'd bring you guys back right now, right while I'm still running. I got the horseshoes on, so we'll get there a little bit faster than regular, but um, I just wanted to tell you guys that I actually got to it pretty fast. I actually got, I was actually able to warp to it before I got through with Minas Tirith. So yeah, anyways, this should finish up this LP. We got stud times 10, it's unlocked, we bought it. And Lurt's Newborn is the last character. There's that whole row of Build-A-Bear, or Build-A-Bear characters, yeah, Build-A-Bear characters. No, that's, uh, Build-A-Bear, Build, jeez, build, build a bull. Okay, thank you. Those are all, that's a list of buildable characters. I will turn into Lurch just so you can see him. Um, I don't exactly know what the difference is. Oh, he's got a shield on that one. Let's see, um, let's see, let's go to... That's Urukai. Where is Lurtz? Lurtz, right next to him. Alright, so this is the difference. Um, there's Okay, so he's he's got the shield, he's still got the um, thing, but he's got like no armor and his face isn't painted. He's pretty much in the buff with a uh, little uh, loincloth, I guess. And then with this guy, he's got a little bit of armor, um, some back, probably back, yeah back plating and stuff like that but with this other guy he's just got muscles and ripply abs showing so yeah that's the difference between uh newborn uh alerts and alerts and then this is actually the uh two different people you can get which me which is um alerts uh newborn and then uh the blacksmith so yeah these are the two people and as you can tell now it says 100 percent. so i have three million studs to spare but i can't buy anything and doesn't that just beautiful 250 ah oh, lovely all right so i hope this is kind of became unexpected was unexpected to you guys because um it was a little early hopefully but um yeah i hope you guys kind of enjoyed my uh trying to go over and complete the lp as much as i possibly could just because i couldn't before doesn't mean i won't complete it on a new file and i was so glad that i had this file where i had it so i could complete it like this but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this um, completion of a, another file and of uh, hopefully of my LP for you guys. Just um, one thing I'd just uh, do for a quick warning is say that uh, with the Wii version, tons of glitches. So expect to have to do it either on a second file or have to do several files before uh, finally getting 100% and getting these two guys. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it and have a great um, rest of your week. See you guys.